Today, we will talk about how to make pancakes and French toast. I found this pancake recipe in my grandma's recipe book. Judging from the weathered look of this recipe card, this was a family favorite. Perfect pancakes are easier to make than you think. This pancake recipe produces thick, fluffy, and all-around delicious pancakes with just a few ingredients that are probably already in your kitchen. And it's so much better than the box stuff. How to make pancakes? You'll find a detailed ingredient list and step-by-step -step instructions in the recipe below. But let's go over the basics. Pancake ingredients. You likely already have everything you need to make this pancake recipe. If not, here's what you add to your grocery list. Asterisk flour. This homemade pancake recipe starts with all-purpose flour. Asterisk baking powder. Baking powder, a learner, is the secret to fluffy pancakes. Asterisk sugar. Just a tablespoon of white sugar is all you'll need for subly sweet pancakes. Salt. A pinch of salt will enhance the overall flavor without making your pancakes taste salty. Asterisk milk and butter. Milk and butter add moisture and richness to the pancakes. Asterisk egg. A whole egg lends even more moisture. Plus, it helps bind the pancake batter together. How to make pancakes from scratch. It's not hard to make homemade pancakes. You just need a good recipe. That's where we come in. You'll find this step-by-step -step recipe below. But here's a brief overview of what you can expect. Sift the dry ingredients together. Make a well, then add the wet ingredients. Stir to combine. Scoop the batter onto a hot griddle or pan. Cook for two to three minutes, then flip. Continue cooking until brown on both sides. When to flip pancakes. Your pancake will tell you when it's ready to flip. Wait until bubbles start to form on the top and the edges look dry and set. This will usually take about two to three minutes on each side. How to reheat pancakes. Store leftover pancakes in an airtight container in the fridge for about a week. Refrain from adding toppings, such as syrup, until right before you serve them so the pancakes don't get soggy. Can you save pancake batter? Don't let leftover pancake batter go to waste. Store the batter in an airtight container in the fridge for up to two days. If you plan to keep it longer than that, it's best to freeze the batter. Can you freeze pancakes? Yes, you can freeze pancakes in pancake batter. Asterisk to freeze cooked pancakes. Allow the pancakes to cool completely, then arrange them in a single layer on a baking sheet. Make sure the edges aren't touching. Flash freeze for a few hours or up to overnight. Reheat in an oven set to 350 degrees F until warm through. Asterisk to freeze pancake batter. Label the pancake batter in serving size portions into freezer bags, then wrap the bags in foil. Freeze flat for up to one month. Thaw in the refrigerator overnight. All recipes community tips and praise. This recipe is one to hand down to your grandkids, raves, fluffy and delicious. Haven't bought a box of pancake mix in months. Just add a bit of vanilla and poof, magic. Perfect. According to Laura W. Delicious, if you're looking for some thick, hearty pancakes, these are the ones to make. Made them exactly as the recipe states and then added mini chocolate chips to each cake as they were on the frying pan before flipping. I made this recipe exactly as written. The kids were eating them off the plate faster than I could cook them, says Ella's 1,970. They are so delicious, they were eaten without syrup. Ingredients 1 and a half cups all-purpose flour 3 and a half teaspoons baking powder 1 tablespoon white sugar 1 quarter teaspoon salt or more to taste 1 and a quarter cups milk 3 tablespoons butter, melted 1 egg Directions Sit flour, baking powder, sugar, and salt together in a large bowl. Make a well in the center and add milk, melted butter, and egg. Mix until smooth. Heat a lightly oiled griddle or pan over medium-high heat. Pour or scoop the batter onto the griddle, using approximately 1-4 cup for each pancake. Cook until bubbles form and the edges are dry about 2-3 to three minutes. Flip and cook until brown on the other side. Repeat with the remaining batter. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.